Hi, we are Robin and Savannah, and we have decided to do our DMA on the movement Stroking the Bird in Phase 1 of Tai Chi. Tai Chi is known for its relaxation techniques and movements. It is the energy within allowing participants to focus on the good energy and positive things in nature and life. The movements in Tai Chi are also expressing balance and stability within yourself and life. This is because when things are balanced, they work better. The balance that Tai Chi brings into the participant's life will help the body, mind and spirit work together, therefore creating a positive energy that will flow into the participant's life. We chose this movement because we are studying Tai Chi in our Sport and Leisure Study 106 class at Waikato University in New Zealand. We are both new to this activity and thought it would be a good idea to learn more about the experience of Tai Chi. The movement Stroking the Bird is the third movement in the first phase of Tai Chi. We decided to do our DMA on this movement that we have learned because it is one of the most peaceful movements out of the first stage. We both agreed that the movement made us feel relatively similar and decided that it would be a good movement to look into. The movement Stroking the Bird gives me a sense of calmness, as Tai Chi is mainly about connecting with your inner energy and trying to be calm and focused on the things surrounding you. The movement makes me feel this way because the movements are all slow, so that you can try to feel the energy surrounding your body. Stroking the Bird requires the hands to flow. This movement comes after the ball of energy. The hands move from the ball position, bringing the left hand upwards and in front of the eyes and the right extended to the back of the hip. The movement to me represents calmness, as when stroking an actual bird, you have to be gentle and do slow movements to keep the bird remaining calm. The stroking the bird movement creates a calm and soothing feeling as it is carried out slowly and gently. This enables me to feel as if I am releasing stress in a calm manner. It clears the mind and blocks out the things around you as you need to focus on the movement and your balance. The movement consists of flowing of the one hand which comes straight after the ball of energy movement. The flowing hand strokes the bird softly and brings me inner peace and freedom as birds are a symbol of these two things. When we compare the three stages of learning, cognitive, associative and autonomous, we are able to see the changes in progression that people go through. We are both in the associative phase of learning for Tai Chi. This means that we are past the cognitive learning phase and we still require feedback and constructive criticism. This then allows us to continue enhancing our knowledge of Tai Chi. We began learning Tai Chi halfway through this year. Due to us being completely new to the activity, it put us in the cognitive learning stage. The cognitive stage is the beginner phase. The participants are completely new to the activity and require a lot of feedback and demonstrations. We are now in the associative stage. This is when the participant is becoming better at the activity. They now have the hang of it, but they still require a lot of feedback for improvement. Finally, the autonomous learning stage. This is when the participant is an expert at the activity and requires minimal feedback. There is very little that this person can improve on. Due to both of us being in the associative phase, it means that we both still have a lot to learn and improve on. We are able to do this by turning up to the tutorials to enhance our knowledge on the culture of Tai Chi. When learning the phases in Tai Chi, we learn by doing part movements, then putting all the movements together slowly. This is called progressive part learning. It meant that our teacher would teach us the first part of the movement and we would repeat the movement. She would then teach us another movement, again we would repeat, then put both movements in action together. We did this for the first phase of Tai Chi. It was easier to learn this way as we were able to understand the movement singly. By doing this, it was easy to put the movements together as we understood how to do them properly and with the right technique. It allowed us to progress at a comfortable speed so that we were taking in the information that was being given to us about the movements.
Tai Chi is an ancient Chinese martial art. Tai Chi can help reduce stress, emphasize health, or can be used as a form of self-defense. The movements are a mixture of tense and relaxed, hard and soft, and also fast and slow movements. Qi is a common term used in Tai Chi. Qi is the internal power and can also be known as a life force or energy flow. When we were learning about the movements of Tai Chi, we were told to feel the energy flowing through us and make the energy rise up and then back down. This was a form of Qi. Also, in the Chinese culture, the universe is very important. The body can be seen as the universe, which is the yin and yang principle. Yin and yang represent two opposite forces in nature. Yin, yin represents the feminine or the negative outlooks, and yang represents the masculinity and the positive outlooks. Yin and yang rely and cannot exist without one another. This principle needs to be equal, as if one side is stronger than the other side is obviously going to be weaker, and vice versa. It is said that yin and yang exist or have some part in everything in the universe. The movement of Tai Chi is used worldwide to help people be calm and relaxed. People also use Tai Chi as it can benefit their health. It is said to delay signs of aging and help to have a longer life. Participating in Tai Chi helps people to become more flexible and also helps to strengthen muscles and tendons. The website medicine.net explains that Tai Chi helps aid people with heart disease, high blood pressure, arthritis, people with digestive disorders, skin diseases, depression and cancer. This is believed as good energy is released when participating in Tai Chi as the body is relaxed and focusing on the breathing techniques and the mental concentration required to successfully complete Tai Chi. When doing Tai Chi, it is said to feel a sense of inner peace, making the person calm within themselves. Education terminology is the way that the body is during a movement, how the weight is distributed during movements, the force that is used, and also the way that the body is expected to move. In Tai Chi, the weight should be distributed evenly, as this relates back to the yin and yang procedure, as if it is not distributed evenly, then the balance is off. Balance is a key factor to successfully doing Tai Chi, so ensuring that the weight is distributed evenly is important. Tai Chi is known to be a form of art, as it is spiritual. When performing Tai Chi movements, there can be relaxing shapes made. There are three lenses of making sense of your movement. These are observation, evaluation and diagnosis. The observation lens consists of observing the movement and getting an idea of how to perform it. When learning the stroking the bird movement, our lecturer Lisa went through the Tai Chi movements step by step and we observed her performing them. This enabled us to visually see how the movements are meant to be performed, such as how slow the movements are meant to be, how gently they should be performed, and how much concentration is needed. The evaluation lens enables us to receive feedback from Lisa while we go through the movement and perform it as beginners. This gives us a fair idea of what not to do and what to do, as Lisa tells us what we were doing right and what we were doing wrong. The diagnosis lens gives us a chance to analyse the feedback we have received in the evaluation lens. This enables us to go through the movement step-by-step -step process by eliminating the things that we are doing wrong and replacing them with the things that we should be doing. From doing our DMA on the stroking the bird movement in Tai Chi, we are now more aware of the Chinese culture and the reasoning behind it. We have learnt that Tai Chi is extremely beneficial to health issues that people might have and we have also learnt a bit about our inner self.